I'm in love with this overnight easy sausage breakfast casserole. It is everything you love about breakfast wrapped up in one dish. Cheesy eggs. Sausage. Hash browns. Peppers and onions. You can make ahead or last minute. It's a great overnight option for Christmas Eve. Originally published December 10th. This morning I set a deadline to get my work done by a certain time. And sat down at the computer. Eric said encouragingly. Karen. You can do it. And I immediately responded. Nicorette can help. Who else remembers that old commercial? You know a marketing campaign was successful when you're still chanting the line 20 years later. After I said it though. Eric was acting all pleased that I had picked up that line from him. And I was like. Oh heck no. You got that from Emmy. I've been saying Nicorette can help since I was a kid. He's not convinced. He still thinks I got it from him. It's been so long that now you think you came up with it. I incepted you. Welcome to being married a long time. My friends. Where you spend your day arguing about commercials from 20 years ago and who said what when. I suppose if this is the worst thing we have to argue about we can't complain too much. Well. How is Christmas coming along at your house? Are there as many Christmas cookies exploding out of your kitchen as there are in mine? Is all the shopping done? There is always so much to do. Time flies so quickly in December. The best breakfast casserole with sausage. Have you planned your Christmas menu yet? Christmas breakfast is a big deal around here. It's my favorite meal of the day. For sure. We always make an egg casserole. And this year I'll be making this easy sausage breakfast casserole. It's a new favorite. It's based on this cheesy overnight hash brown breakfast casserole. Which is one of the top recipes on my blog. This is the sausage version. It's super easy to throw together. Can be made ahead. And has all your favorite breakfast flavors. Cheesy eggs. Tender hash browns. And breakfast sausage. I also added in some peppers and onions. But those are optional. Nobody wants to fight with their kids on Christmas morning about eating vegetables. So just leave them out if that's not a hill you want to die on. Here's how to make it. Breakfast sausage casserole ingredients. Here are the ingredients you'll need. See below for the full recipe. Butter hash brown potatoes. Shredded is my fave. Salt and pepper breakfast sausage veggies. Green bell pepper. Red bell pepper. And onion. Cheese. Monterey Jack cheese and sharp cheddar cheese. Eggs half and half. You could also use cream. Evaporated milk. Or whole milk. Seasonings. Seasoned salt. Kosher salt. Black pepper. And dry mustard. How to make easy sausage breakfast casserole. Melt the butter in the casserole dish you're using while the oven preheats. Make sure you get Santa to help with quality control. Add in some frozen hash browns. No need to thaw first. You can use diced hash browns or shredded hash browns. Totally up to you. I wanted to try out the diced hash browns because I usually use shredded. And it turns out I actually prefer shredded. So I'll be using them next time. Either one is great. Sprinkle some salt and pepper over the hash browns and stir it all together to make sure the butter is distributed. Pop it in the oven and bake until the potatoes are almost tender and just starting to brown. About 30 minutes. Meanwhile, in a skillet brown up some sausage, pepper, and onions. Chop up your onions and peppers nice and small. This is breakfast. Not taco night. Be kind to your guests. Look the veggies are even Christmas colors. Like I mentioned before.
You can leave out all the veggies if you want. Won't change a thing. Add the sausage and peppers and onions on top of the baked hash browns. You can either spread it out as a layer on top. Or you can stir it in with the hash browns. I like to stir it in. Top with a bunch of shredded cheese. The sky's the limit here basically. I used Monterey Jack and Cheddar. You could try Pepper Jack for a spicy twist. Mozzarella. Gouda. Colby Jack. Any sort of blended shredded cheese mix you find at the store. Although Parmesan will not melt as well. Pour your egg mixture on top and make sure you pour it along the edges so that everything gets moistened. At this point, you can cover and refrigerate overnight. Or pop it straight into the oven. Either way will work totally great. This is a wonderful recipe to make on Christmas Eve for the next morning. All you have to do is preheat the oven in the morning and stick it in the oven. It will probably take closer to 45 to 50 minutes to bake. And that's it. I hope you have fun putting together all your Christmas menus and treats for the holidays. If you need inspiration, check out all my Christmas recipes. You will find everything from treats to main dishes for the big day. I know Christmas is a lot of work. You can do it. Nicorette can help. Tips for breakfast casserole with sausage. Cook the hash browns first. I know it can be tempting to save a little bit of time and skip pre-cooking the hash browns. But trust me, this is the key to crispy potatoes. Chop the veggies small. Do you want a giant piece of bell pepper in your breakfast casserole? Didn't think so. You'll know the casserole is done when the edges are browned and the center doesn't jiggle too much when you give the pan a little shake. Add more veggies. Chop up and saute an equal amount of whatever veggies you like in place of the peppers and onions. Sliced mushrooms or chopped broccoli florets would be delicious. Make it vegetarian. Swap the sausage out for a meatless variety. Or just leave it out entirely. Add more veggies to compensate. Remember to saute first. Sausage breakfast casserole recipe storage. Can breakfast casserole be frozen? Absolutely. This breakfast casserole with sausage freezes beautifully. You can freeze the whole thing or divide it into individual portions so you can easily reheat what you need. To freeze it, let it cool completely. Then wrap it tightly in plastic wrap and foil. You can also use Ziploc bags. Divide into two and use two gallon bags if you want to freeze the whole thing. Or smaller Ziplocs for individual portions. Store it in the freezer for up to two months. When you're ready to serve. Warm individual portions in the microwave or heat up the whole dish in the oven. How long is sausage and egg casserole good for in the fridge? Leftover baked breakfast casserole can be stored in an airtight container in the fridge for up to five days. Warm individual portions in the microwave or bake a larger amount in the oven to reheat. Breakfast casserole sausage FAQ. Why is my breakfast casserole soggy? The primary suspects are not pre-cooking the veggies and are not draining the sausage grease. Here are my best tips to make sure you end up with a perfect breakfast sausage casserole. Pre-cook the veggies. Veggies are naturally watery. As they cook, they release that moisture. If they only cook in the casserole. All that extra moisture will also be in your casserole. Sauté first. Pre-cook the hash browns. Cooking the potatoes on their own before you assemble your casserole is the best way to make sure. They're nice and crispy. Drain the grease. After you cook the sausage. You will likely see extra grease in the pan. I recommend draining it to avoid a soggy and or greasy casserole. 
Can you use pre-cooked sausage for this recipe? You can. If you have pre-cooked sausage on hand, you can use it to save time. No need to saute. You can just add it right into the casserole. Use a little oil for the pan if you are sautéing veggies without sausage. More breakfast casserole recipes you are going to love. Cheesy overnight hash brown breakfast casserole less than less than today's recipe is based on this one. It's my favorite. Cheesy overnight bacon and egg breakfast casserole less than less than this one is super easy and a huge crowd. Please a creamy maker head scrambled eggs for a crowd less than less than this is a great option for slow mornings. Just leave them in the crock and people can serve themselves. Overnight biscuits and gravy casserole less than less than biscuits and gravy is a classic. This is the casserole version. So good. Eggs Benedict casserole. Overnight. Less than less than this one always goes crazy at Christmas time. Overnight bacon and asparagus breakfast casserole less than less than if you think you don't want asparagus for breakfast. Think again. Easy sausage quiche from Creations by Cara Skinny Southwestern Crustless Quiche from Cookin. Canuck spinach artichoke portabella quiche from All Day I Dream About Food. Facebook. Pinterest. Instagram. Print. Sausage breakfast casserole recipe. I'm in love with this overnight easy sausage breakfast casserole. It is everything you love about breakfast wrapped up in one dish. Cheesy eggs. Sausage. Hash browns. Peppers and onions. You can make ahead or last minute. It's a great overnight option for Christmas Eve. Course breakfast cuisine American. Prep time 20 minutes cook time 1 hour 20 minutes total time 1 hour 40 minutes. Servings 10. Calories 465 kilocalories. Author Karen. Ingredients 1 half cup butter. 1 stick. 1. 30 oz. Package hash brown potatoes, diced or shredded. Salt and pepper 1 pound breakfast sausage bulk 1 half green pepper chopped 1 half. Red pepper chopped 1 half small onion diced 1 and 1 half cups shredded Monterey Jack cheese. Packed 1 and 1 half cups shredded sharp cheddar cheese packed 8 large eggs 1 and 1 third cups. Half and half cream. Evaporated milk. Or whole milk 1 teaspoon seasoned salt 1 half teaspoon kosher salt 1 quarter teaspoon if using. Table salt 1 half teaspoon black pepper 1 quarter teaspoon dry mustard optional. Instructions preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Make the potato layer. While it's heating up. Add 1 half cup butter to a 9 times 13 inch casserole dish. Place in the oven so that it melts. When the butter is melted, take it out and tilt the pan around so that the edges of the pan are greased. Add a 30 ounce package of frozen, diced or shredded is fine, hash browns. You don't have to thaw them first. Mix it together with the butter so everything is coated. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. Place the pan back in the oven and bake at 400 for 30 to 35 minutes. Until the potatoes are mostly cooked and some are starting to lightly brown. Remove from the oven. Lower the oven temperature to 350. Prepare the sausage layer. Meanwhile, Chop up one half a green pepper and one half a red pepper. Chop half of a small onion, no more than three quarters cup or less. Make sure all the veggies are chopped small. If you want, you can skip all the vegetables entirely. No need to make any adjustments. Add one pound breakfast sausage. I used Jimmy Dean regular. The bulk kind and all the veggies to a skillet set over medium-high heat. 
break up the sausage and sauté for 5 to 7 minutes. Until the sausage is browned and the onion is getting soft. Drain the grease if there is any. Add the cooked sausage mixture on top of the baked hash browns. You can spread it out so that it is a layer on top of the potatoes. Or you can stir it in so everything is evenly distributed. I like to stir. Closing parenthesis. Add cheese. Sprinkle 1 and 1 half cups Monterey Jack and 1 and 1 half cups cheddar cheese over the top. Make the egg mixture. In a large bowl or stand mixer. Or you can use a blender. Use a whisk to stir together 8 eggs. 1 and 1 third cups half and half. Asterisk 1 teaspoon seasoned salt. 1 half teaspoon kosher salt. 1 half teaspoon pepper. And 1 quarter teaspoon dry mustard. Pour the egg mixture over the casserole. Making sure to distribute evenly. See notes for overnight instructions. Bake at 350. Remember to lower the oven temperature. For about 35 to 45 minutes. Until the edges are browned and bubbly. And the center doesn't jiggle a lot when you shake the pan. Take out of the oven and let set for 5 minutes before serving. Store leftovers in the fridge. They will keep for about 5 days. This recipe is great for freezing. I like to freeze individual portions of the baked casserole, so that I can pop them out one at a time and microwave for a lovely mid-morning breakfast of casserole champions. Notes Overnight Instructions After you pour the egg mixture over the casserole in step 11. Cover the casserole tightly and refrigerate overnight. The next morning. Get the casserole out of the oven and let it hang out on the counter for a bit while you preheat the oven to 350. When the oven is nice and hot, bake at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes until the edges are browned and bubbly and the center doesn't jiggle too much when you shake the pan. Let set for 5 minutes before serving. You can use half and half. Cream. Evaporated milk. Or milk. The higher the fat content. The richer your casserole will be. Nutrition calories. 465 kilocalories. Carbohydrates. 18 grams. Protein. 20 grams. Fat. 35 grams. Saturated fat. 19 grams. Polyunsaturated fat. 3 grams. Monounsaturated fat, 11 grams, trans fat, 1 g, cholesterol, 236 milligrams, sodium, 882 milligrams, potassium, 466 milligrams, fiber, 2 grams, sugar, 1 g, vitamin A, 1142 U, vitamin C, 20 milligrams, Calcium, 321 milligrams. Iron, 2 milligrams.